Evening all. Uh, my name's Gareth, and I'm going to do a booktube book haul video. So I've got about 30 odd books to talk about. So these have been bought over the last few months. Um, some of them um, have been down to, because of my birthday. I had that recently, so there was a, there's a gift in there, which is a really lovely gift I got for my birthday, as well as some things I got from the day trip we had in Oxford, which was on that day, and I got loads of books that day. Uh, but also I've been going to charity shops locally and had some really really good finds in those shops and I've got, got something on eBay that's gonna I'm gonna mention so a variety of different things plus some waterstone stuff I've bought spent a bit of money in waterstones in the last few months as well so um, yeah I'm just gonna do it in one edit because I figured this would work better if it's just one edit, yeah just totally unedited uh, just crack through them but first thing first I want to thank anyone that's subscribed to the channel um, so I do appreciate it uh, and hopefully I'll make this stuff really interesting um, so thanks for all the new subscribers that have added to themselves to the channel. Th uh, big hello to all the old subscribers. Uh, massive hello to the young subscribers. Uh, see what I did there. Uh, uh, new, old, young. Uh, and um, here we go. When I say whoa, I mean whoa. So let's cut up quickly these. So I bought the Martian Chronicles finally. So I found this for a pound. Um, I think I, where did I find it for a pound? Oh yeah, in um, Palmerston Road. So there's a really cool charity shop in Palmerston Road where I found loads of stuff, which is a pound. Um, and uh, the Martian Chronicles, Ray Bradbury. I've read loads of his stuff, but weirdly I haven't read the Martian Chronicles yet. So that was a really good find. So I'm looking forward to reading that finally. Um, I've now got Naked Lunch to read. So I bought this in Oxford, these, these price tags remind me of um, these price stickers remind me of where I got them from so Naked Lunch I've wanted to read that for a while never had it I've got it now in from that brilliant bookshop in Oxford same visit I got a book by Camus called The Outsider it's a very short book so I'm glad I found it quite cheap because this will take me like two hours to read or something so um, but I hope it's gonna be really good I like the premise that's written on the back um, but yeah, I'll probably let you know what I think of that. Um, but it depends how I group it with other um, books. Camus, The Outsider. Let me know if you've read that and what you think. Finally, got a good copy of Kafka's Mort uh, Metamorphosis. I have read this before, a long, long time ago, but I wanted to read it again. So I've got another copy of it because um, I don't think I've got it anymore. Um, again, you know, really good price from this shop in Oxford. Um, but... I do want to do a video on body transformations and body morphing and that kind of thing. So this is clearly a classic uh, on that subject. So we're going to read it again and figure out what I think of Kafka's Metamorphosis. I've now, I bought this one new. So this is from Waterstones and uh, John Scousey. I've read loads of John Scousey, but I've been looking for the second book after Old Man's War for ages. Um, I wanted to find it either on a shelf or like immensely cheap uh, in a charity shop, but I never found it. And now I did find it in Waterstone, so I, so I bought it for my birthday. So um, this is, um, on, I bought this on, on the actual birthday trip. So yeah, Ghost Brigade. If you've read this, let me know what you think. But I do like the way he writes. Um, and I wasn't necessarily into military SF when I was younger, but uh, I really do like uh, just, you know, his narrative voice is cool. Usually a little bit humorous. Um, I mean, really humorous, talking about red shirts, but I don't think red shirts are typical of what he does. Now I've read lots of his books. Um, but yeah, I do like the way he writes. Um, I've now got this. So I did get this at the library, but I've got it, uh, my own copy now, um, which weirdly I preferred for some reason. I just feel guilty when I got a book from the library. Uh, big fan of Del Toro, and apparently this is really good. Uh, a friend of mine said this is good, and I trust him. So... Um, yeah, and I found that for one pound fifty. A big book there, nicely, nice condition uh, for one pound fifty. So, found lots of bargains recently. The strain, um, bit of a topical one that one. Um, again in Oxford, I bought the Haunting of Hill House. So Shirley Jackson, I know really because of the lottery, but I know this is her most famous book. So I wanted to read this. There's a Netflix series, but I haven't watched that because I want to read it. So yeah, if you've read that, let me know what you think of that. Um, that's cool. 
Connie Willis, again, this is another one I found for a pound in that shop, that charity shop. So pleased to see this. I nearly bought this new, like, a couple of months ago, um, because I really like her book, the Doomsday Book. Um, and the premise of this, um, it's about new technology called the EDD, uh, where um, you can, you and your partner can have this thing installed in your brains and you can read each other's minds. And clearly, this couple thinks it's a good idea, but it all goes wrong. Um, so... Yeah, could be a bit of a social commentary about the way that relationships work and the way that some things are kept private. Uh, I don't know. But anyway, could be good. Um, so I've got that one. Again, massive bargain. Just a pound. What? So that was good. Um, this is a John Steinbeck book I found. Um, I think I found this. Yeah, I bought this in the Oxford shop. So again, it was like half price. Um, it's a very small book. But I'm trying to find anything that I find by John Steinbeck. I find I try and buy it. Um, but I did read this. I read this. I read. It, I wrote a little review on Goodreads, and uh, I think the ending was a little bit disappointing. Certainly for him, um, it wasn't quite as philosophical as some of his books. But you know, he writes so well that it was interesting anyway. I can't imagine he'd ever write something that wasn't really good. Um, this is uh, a book that um, was given to me for my birthday. So um, if you, if anyone that was involved in that collection is watching this, thank you very much. This is a really awesome book to have. So I can't wait to get into this. And this could feature in the second video that I'm going to do on books relating to music. So have a look for that. Um, but yeah, I'm a big Billy Bragg fan. So uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what he's written here about... Um, uh, the uh, how about skiffle? Um, so that's Billy Bragg. Um, I've got another Ursula Le Guin book. There is actually another one in this lot as well. Where is that then? I'll find it in a minute. Um, so I hadn't heard of this one, and I found this in the Oxford shop. Um, honestly, you should go there. I can't remember what it was called. But it's such a great shop because you've got these, like, you know, beautifully conditioned new books for four quid. Brilliant. Um, so I want to, I'll buy anything I find by Ursula Gwynn. I think she's amazing. So I'm looking forward to reading that one. Um, and I finally got Catch 22. So this is supposed to be the best anti war novel ever written. So clearly that means I should read it. So uh, Catch 22 uh, by Joseph Keller. Um, I now have this. Joseph Heller. Um, so yeah, I'm going to read this and can't wait to find out what I think of Catch-22. Um, Alistair Reynolds. So I've already done a video about Revenger, but I know it's not typical of what he writes. I've really enjoyed it. I'm really liking the series. I've read the second one now. I'm going to read the third one soon. But I found loads of his books for like a pound or two pound. So because he's got such a great reputation, because I imagine I'm going to like him because I couldn't pass up so it's so cheap. I've been. I've got like eight books or something that I haven't read by him, just based on his reputation and stuff. Um, and this is an example. Blue Remembered Earth is an example of a book that I found really cheap. It's a really massive book, um, and I can't wait to read it. But it's not reviewed as well as some of his others. But I bought the sequel to this because I found it really cheap before I bought this. So it's a bit like that. I've got loads of his books to get through um, from that point of view. Um, but I did find this, which is probably going to be the next one I read by him after I've finished that trilogy. Revelation Space. This is the most celebrated book by him. So I'm looking forward to getting to reading something more typical to figure out what I think of him, because I know that most of his books span a huge area of space. They're really epic and also span a lot of centuries, a lot of time as well. So that tends to be something he, he likes doing. Um, so Revelation Space, that's going to be read very soon so I bought that from Waterstones really you know, brand new um, from my um, birthday money so that was nice seeing that because I saw that on the shelf that's why I got it at the time um, again Michael Crichton clearly I know him because of uh, Jurassic Park Andromeda Strain Westworld um, all those different things I didn't know anything about Prey but I found it for I think this was a pound as well um, so I thought, yeah, let's go for it. Let's find out what Michael Crichton's like. 
So if you've read this one, let me know what you think. Uh, but I'm looking forward to reading this at some point. Um, I've got a couple of more Stephen King ones. I'm going to do a Stephen King video soon. Uh, I will feature this one, Joyland. I really like this. I bought this um, because of the True Crime series, and I just read Later, which was newly released this year. So I liked Later, so I thought I'd try this one as well. And the idea that it was set at a fun fair made me think, oh, I like the setting. And it really is a good book. I really enjoyed that. So another another great Stephen King one to add to all those other ones. So that was nice. So I bought that one. Uh, this one, I'm really pleased I found this one cheap. I found this one for a pound. And this is a really short one. So this is quite recently released, like a couple of years ago, I think. Um, and the reviews are brilliant. Um, they don't regard this as one of his best. But he is writing some some stuff that people are raving about at the minute. So it's not that he's gone downhill or anything. But this one in particular, um, people thought, yeah, it's all right, but not amazing. So I'm glad I found it quite cheap. Um, it won't take me long to read it. It's a very short one. Um, but I've got this to read as well. Um, and I found another Alfred Bester book. Um, so that's really cool. Um, so um, I don't know this one, though. His two most famous ones, the big award-winning ones, um, I do know, but I didn't know this one. So um, I'm really pleased about that. I've read The Demolished Man, and I haven't read The Stars of My Destination, but I own it, and I will be reading that soon. I'll probably read that one before I read this one. But it was nice to find it, and I love it when I find an old uh, sort of classic cover, paperback, sci-fi book. I like that. Um, I now have One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, so this is clearly a classic and um, uh, I love the film I went to see a production of it as well with um, Christian Slater playing Murphy and uh, Mackenzie Crook was in it as well it was a really fantastic production I love the film the book is apparently better my daughter absolutely loves this book and she um, sort of made a point of doing it on her choices for when she did her A-level uh, so, hello Jess. Um, so yeah, wonderful little cuckoo's nest. I've got this now to read, which I'm very excited about. Um, I've found another John Steinbeck book called Indubious Battle. So, if you've read this one, let me know what you think. Um, I'm really pleased to find another John Steinbeck book. I'll, f I'll, f I'll find a Steinbeck book, I'll buy it if I haven't read it or own it. Um, so, I'll look forward to that one. Um, Another relatively short one as well. Um, he doesn't, I mean, obviously, East of Eden and the Grapes of Wrath are huge, but he does write a lot of short ones. Um, bit of non fiction now. So, this is called Don't Shoot the Clowns. And this is about, um, it's got a subheading Taking a Circus to the Children of Iraq. Um, and clearly, it's going to um, have give us all sorts of insights into what the situ situation was like over there. Um, and it's done. It's, it's published by the uh, New Internationalist, so that's awesome. So I'm looking forward to reading that. Um, I'm on to my last pile. Um, a little bit of comedy science fiction. So Robert Asprin, who um, I think is responsible for the Thieves World series, um, he's done his book Fool's Company, um, and you can tell from the blurb on the back that it's comedy. I imagine it's probably like Build a Galactic Hero by Harry Harrison, but I don't know. But I that's the kind of vibe I'm getting from the cover and the what it says on the back. So that could be a bit of fun. Fool's Company. Um, so I look forward to reading that one. Um, I sort of grew up on short stories. I read a lot of short stories. I'd like to do a video on short stories. And I found this lovely anthology called A World of Difference. Um, an anthology of short stories from five continents. I don't think I was drawn by the title, even though I know it is the title of uh, one of my albums and the title of the title track, you know, as in one of the songs as well. One of the songs we play the most in the band. Um, and basically because it's a classic Twilight Zone episode. But that's not why I bought the book. I thought it was a really awesome idea having a short story collection from different contents. So look forward to reading that. Um, I also found a music theory book um, inside the music written by Dave Stewart from the Eurythmics um, which was a nice find um, and he does 
you know, he would talk very academically about uh, music theory, um, and he talks a lot about scales and how notes work, and um, it does look really good. I've, I've, had, I've, I've started reading it already, and I do like the way he writes it. Makes references to some good stuff, um, and he talks about improvisation and how um, chords work. Um, so yeah, uh, could be a good find. Could be something I can use in the next video I do on books about music. Um, I found a lovely copy of Robinson Crusoe. So um, again, I'd like to eventually do a book video about um, isolation, solitude, um, that kind of thing. And I will include that one. I'll include The Martian. I'll include Life of Pi, that sort of stuff. So I'm looking forward to doing that, but I need to read this. So I've never read this, and it's a really nice edition. It's an old, it's an old copy that says four. It says that it's four p uh, inside, which is obviously well cheap. It wasn't four p, but it was twenty p, which is massively cheap for a book. Uh, so that was pretty awesome. So Robinson Crusoe. Look forward to reading that. Um, this might have a bit of a solitude thing to it. I don't know. The End of the World Running Club. Tell me what you think if you've read this. Um, again, I found it for pound fifty. Can't resist the bargain. That was in a second-hand shop in Commercial Road. Um, a charity shop. But that, that looked like a good find. I've heard, I've heard of the book. I'm sure I've heard people rave about it. But again, new condition. pound fifty. What can you say? I found an interesting book by Michael Moorcock. So this is a book about books. So this is um, it's called uh, Wizardry and Wild Romance. And it's Michael Moorcock writing about fantasy um, and the whole genre. So I'm looking forward to reading that. Um, so I'll probably read that in between reading some fiction stuff, I imagine. So Michael Moorcock, um, famous for the Elric books, right? Um, which are awesome. Uh, this is the other Ursula Le Guin book that I mentioned earlier. Again... Hadn't seen that one before, so I was really pleased to see it in the shop. I bought this one new, so I'm pretty sure I bought this in Waterstones. But, um, yeah, that was awesome. Um, so I look forward to reading some more Ursula Le Guin. She is fantastic. Um, you right? My dogs are making a noise. A strange whimper, which could be nothing. You all right? I'm not editing this. Okay, I'm just going to ignore them. Um, and Mary Shelley, The Last Man. So obviously I've read Frankenstein, incredible book. She's a great writer, but I don't really hear people talking about this, which is a post-apocalyptic book. So I'm looking forward to finding out what I think of this, The Last Man by Mary Shelley. So if you've read this, please let me know. And... Uh, and I, I'm hoping to include this in a video I'm going to do about post-apocalyptic books. Um, you can see there's a bit of a trend here that I do. Now I'm doing these videos, it's quite cool because I can, I can buy books sometimes thinking that I can group them together and do a little video. It's quite nice. Gives you an extra reason to pick specific books, you know. Um, so, uh, just bouncing off that post-apocalyptic thing, I bought this one. So this is George Stewart's book, Earth Abides. And I didn't really know about this book, but Moyd, who does a uh, booktube channel called Media Death Cult, I don't know if he's going to watch this, but if he does, hello Moyd, thanks for the videos. Um, he talks about this a lot, um, and he uh, has sort of made me discover a few different things, and I think he's uh, got a really interesting taste and a good take on science fiction, so I thought, give this one a go. So if you've read Earth Abides, let me know what you think. Um, but I'm going to read that soon and I look forward to it. Um, and I bought this one new. So, so yeah, I just saw it in the shop. I thought, what? I haven't, I haven't seen that in the shop before. So that was cool. Um, and I did buy Journey to the Centre of the Earth. So there's an awesome um, couple of shops called Kim's Bookshop. I don't know if you guys know this, but um, they do their classics really cheap. So, Genesis and Sensory Earth, I thought I'd need to buy this, I haven't read it yet. So now I have got Jules Verne's classic, so I'll be reading that soon. Uh, and then just to finish off, um, three quite unusual books. So this one, this was a graphic novel called Giraffes on Horseback Salad. 
And this book uh, is a graphic novelization. Of a script that Salvador Dali wrote for the Marx Brothers. So he wrote a film that was never filmed. And this is the script, but put into graphic novel form. Um, and he wrote this because he was a good friend of Harpo. And uh, he wanted to see them in a film, which is brilliant. Um, and uh, and I did read a few, before I bought it, I read a few pages. And it's insane. It's completely mad. Uh, so I'm looking forward to reading it properly to find out what that was all about. Um, but yeah, all, it's all, it all came about because Salvador Dali was a friend of Harpo's. Uh, I'm a massive, massive Marx Brothers fan. I have been all my life. So I've got a collection of Marx Brothers. Anything to do with the Marx Brothers, I'll buy it. Um, so I couldn't really resist this. Um, and I got this from some birthday money. So giraffes on horseback salad. Yes. And then the last thing I bought two again from Kim's bookshop I found some two found some two some two I found books on uh, medieval music so I do try and find academic music books a lot and this is some a nice find so this is this one's a bit thicker music from the middle ages and it's got stuff about Gregorian chant it's got stuff about um, the troubadours and the whole art of the minstrel uh, it's got stuff about how the development of music happened in medieval times and, and how uh, cause developed and stuff like that um, so that looks really interesting and then a more specific book on the minstrels here uh, that literally talk about specific historical minstrels that actually did live and what they wrote and you know their early lyrics and that sort of stuff so that looks really awesome as well so I look forward to get delving into that one so yeah any comments you've got about any of these books I'm not going to edit this any comments you've got about any of these books um, then please put them below, um, type them below. This is the international symbol for typing. Uh, and um, yeah, loads there, different kinds of stuff. Clearly a lot of science fiction, but some um, horror stuff as well. Um, some non-fiction stuff. Some classics like One for the Cuckoo's Nest and the Jules Verne book and stuff like that. And Mary Shelley book, The Last Man. Anything like that you thought was interesting or you've read it, you want to make a point about it. If you want to tell me, don't read that book because you'll never get those hours back, then write it in the comments below. Um, anything like that. It was nice talking to you, whoever you are. Um, please subscribe to the channel if you just found this and you like this rambling. Um, and uh, keep reading. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye-bye-bye-bye.